taught, it was like 30 minutes. It was like 30 minutes before I went to bed, so. It was at 7.50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was three minutes. So, welcome to another episode. Todd is making fun of me for waking up early and going to bed early. Yeah, it's it's funny because I talk to people all the time. I'm not really a morning person. I'm, like, very much a night owl. I ride the creativity wave. So, like, if I get a spark, I'm just like, you got to ride it. Yeah. Sometimes it's not for me in the morning. Um but it's a good challenge to like get up early in the morning. It's kind of weird now with daylight savings. I feel like I'm up way earlier than I need to. I'm like, man, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an early morning person now, even though it's 7:20 and it's like yeah. <laughs> the sun's still. So I had up. this bright idea, Todd. Let's film every Tuesday at 7:30 a.m. So it's amazing. And he was so excited. Yeah, it's amazing. That, so. um, but no, it's a good challenge. I mean, you always want to pattern disrupt, as we talk yeah. about all the time, um, I just because think you, you look fall. fresh. You feel fresh. You feel good right makes, now. You look good. Thank you. Yeah. That makes one of us. I got yeah. the fresh. I got a fresh shave in. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. Good. But um, so recently, my team and I went to uh, an opening of a med spa in Avondale, Riverside, Jacksonville, and the one thing that I thought was really funny when we were there is that it was other med spas that were there. They had invited their competition to mingle amongst themselves. Why would a brand or why would a company want to? instead of making enemies, make friends with other people in the industry in whatever market that they're in? What kind of value do you think that would be? I think it adds a lot of value as far as, you know, bouncing ideas off of each other. Look, there's, you know, in the med spa world, there are thousands and thousands of potential customers, right, and consumers. Can one med spa service them all? Probably not. You know, I think especially, you know, from what my understanding on certain med spas is I think they specialize in certain yeah. Um, certain things that other med spas not may not. So, you know, building that referral base of, you know, hey, if you if I refer you this, you refer me that, that you might know, work really 100%, well. No, 100%, because that's what I was talking to, uh, the one woman, she's the VP over there. She's great. We love Jenny. Um, she was saying, you know, <laughs> yeah, not all the services are the same. So there's going to be something that you guys may not service. I mean, and some of those machines are like, dollars so it's just very inconceivable that every med spa would have the same services but i just thought it was interesting i'm like they were inviting their competition they're encouraging them to share and mingle amongst the other whether they're investors doctors whoever they were there to just build more of a community and mm -hmm. it's funny because we do that when it comes to small businesses and it made me think even harder i'm like this team is probably one of the best incubators for small businesses I've ever seen because realistically everyone is their own business and that's what everybody wants in real estate. Yeah. But what you guys do uniquely is invest in those people's business basically one-to-one. -one, right. So it's right. like, it's never just like, all right, come like sell homes for me. It's like sell homes for you. I've secured the opportunity. Like wh wh what kind of like just joy does that bring to see that you're investing in, opportunity for people that they may not even seen in their, have seen in themselves and then seeing the growth i mean kim chase is like the benchmark you know yeah. scott and lauren i mean everybody i mean everybody that you know and we do rigorous interviews for this reason is because look Lindsay and i when we said we're gonna you know start this team we we're going to invest heavily into the agents because you know, I, I saw Tom Ferry posted this yesterday. He posted, he's been posting different things, which I, he's on fire right now. Um, that separate yourself from doing different marketing from everybody else. Why is everyone trying to do the same marketing as every other brand and every other agency and every other real estate? So that's the approach when we took when we started the team. It's like, hey, right. no brokerage is investing into, you know, their their people into their small businesses which are which are their agents and so we took that approach and to see them grow and flourish and now as you bring on new people watching them now lead from the front and show you know the collaboration of what works for them and it's giving the new the new agents shortcuts everyone like it's, right. you should see the time frame now from when we bring somebody on they're executing in like two weeks, three weeks, and yeah. it's just clicking so much because, you know, um, the, the the amount of collaboration and leadership that we have right. has just been cr incredible. Yeah, I always think about like if you ever go into like a, you know, I don't know, pizza shop or restaurant, you always see that dollar hanging on the wall. It's like that's the first dollar. It's like I wonder 
it's such a proud moment. I wonder how long it went from, hey, we're going to open a pizza shop to that first dollar where now you guys have taken that time and made it in basically two weeks or less for right. somebody who could completely have no clue about real estate. Hey, I just got licensed to getting that first dollar up on the wall is crazy. I mean, let's even take your own story. When did well, you get licensed? Can I, can I back up on Kim Chase? I think it's funny to you reel know, it back. Her just because I was just thinking about this. Her and I went to high school together, and then she moved to Jacksonville, and she was, you know, she had reached out, and she was going to get her real estate license, and I knew, you know, smart, you know, very charismatic, you know, everything you would want in a real estate agent. I was very, very excited that she reached out to, to me to be like, hey, I would love to, you know, possibly work with you guys, and I was like, heck yeah, because I knew the quality she had would be. Uh, you know, a, an amazing, an amazing agent. Put yourself in my shoes. Now I'm telling her that, Hey, I'm going to do this and this and this. And so we have to put our money where our mouth is. Yeah. I would bring in anybody. I'm so confident in our processes, our leadership, our, our systems, our leads that I would bring in, you know, anybody's grandmother, anybody's friend, anybody's mother, anybody's son and tell them, Hey, if you do this, this, and this, you, this is a guarantee. Right. And not a lot of businesses can offer that. Yeah. And, and <laughs> I knew that, you know, hey, we have, you know, I know her. I know if she believed in, in, in us, I believed in her. Like, it was a guarantee. This is good of it. Now look at her. She, I think she has, like, she's going to sell like 20 million this year. I think. Well, I mean, her last sale that they just dropped in the group was pretty stupid. Bonkers, right? Yeah. Like that four was, million or something. Yeah. Just like on a Wednesday or something, it was just yeah. like, hey, here's all the cuties for today. It was like, you know, here's this price point. This is great. And it's just like 4.35 million cash. 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 Not falling through. <laughs> Yikes. Whoa. Unreal. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. And I mean, she's the sweetest woman too. And, and she said, she's like, I have a servant's heart. She worked in the service industry yeah. for, she said, almost, you know, 20 so years. And I, we talk about it all the time. It's like, we're in the service industry. So that translation is so easy to understand that it's the customer, mm -hmm. it's the consumer. Yeah. That's going to be the North star. That's how you're going, you're going to build that business. So again, back to even the med spa, they didn't invite consumers there. They invite invited their competition there to say hey we're amongst you guys this is a community that's building and you know like we're here to help each other we're yeah. not in competition and that's what's happening here it's like even though yes all these agents are in competition they're not it's building a community so that mm -hmm. they can bounce things off one another right you set an appointment you can't make it because you're already showing somebody else what do you do with that you call a realtor friend no you pass it along to somebody yeah. in the group on the team knowing it's going to be handled properly yeah. so you don't sour your own business. I mean, I just walked in here today. It's Karen's birthday. There's balloons on her desk. And I'm like, talk about like great culture. I mean, there's like everyone's getting ready to celebrate her. You know, yesterday I, I told Lindsay, I was like, look in this group text right now. I think uh, Lydia and somebody else had put in that where there were certain accidents in Jacksonville because everyone knows how busy everyone is. And like just looking out for one another, they didn't have to take their time out right. and do that. But everyone's willingness to help in this office. And <laughs> if yeah. it's if it's not the marketing, <laughs> if it's not the leads, it's the very in the know traffic updates of Jacksonville. Right. It's going to be the it's, most valuable thing of joining this team. It's like, oh man, it's, it, it makes me proud and, and yeah. so excited. And, and just to see it's just growing and getting better and better and better so right you know the more agents the more traffic updates we'll have it'll be really great so, right <laughs> yeah you know, that's it it's reason the in, number in, one 199.5 <laughs> to join the team <laughs> is, is under the wire traffic updates yeah For no sure. and it's funny so you recently introduced me to a friend of yours over the weekend um who loves airbnbs real estate as well and it's funny because he is kind of taking almost an approach that you guys did it's like hey, we're really great at doing this, but like, and that's great, and we can live the lifestyle we want, but like, what's greater than that? And he's like, we wanna start turning to helping other people mm -hmm. and start growing other people. And it's like, now he's talking to you guys about that. It's like, hey, how can I do it properly? How can I do it to where it makes sense to where I'm not just, you know, pissing in the wind, so to speak, where yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm helping people, but like, I'm bleeding cash. It's like, how can I do it and still like, feel good about it knowing that like I'm not drowning myself and I just thought it was interesting that someone like that would align themselves with you guys and I'm like actually it's not because that's who you guys are <laughs> so it's just like second nature to just you know rub elbows with you guys and be like okay like these are the things I'm going to pick up along the way um, but let's go back to so we talked about that first dollar 
when did you get licensed in real estate? 2006, right in the, you know, 2000, the heart of it all. Right, 2006. So let's take 2006 as our benchmark of like, okay, you're now one of our scholarship people we're going to bring in, mm -hmm. and they're going to work on the DJ and Lindsay team. When did you start the DJ and Lindsay team? Uh, 2015. Right. So we so, started Ancient City Real Estate in 2013. But to back up, you know, in 2006. But those were two, th those seem like different years. That doesn't seem like two weeks, which is what we're doing here. Right. So that's interesting that somebody could join this team and become successful in two to three, four weeks, yeah. not 2006 to 2015. I, I tell everyone, so, you know, right, it took nine years to build that. <laughs> yeah. Well, not only that, every time somebody executes really, I was like, guys, I, I, promise you i didn't i didn't sell my first house for the, my first year like i i think i had four or five hundred dollars in my bank account when in 20 in 2006 just trying to make ends meet working you know working serving tables doing real estate during the day i showed up to the office every day and i was like but i was grinding and and at that time rentals kind of paid a little bit so i do rental leads but you know just fast forward i always i always joke when i see somebody get their first deal i'll be like hey you know it took me like over a year to sell my first house right and it's it wasn't crazy. because of non-effort i was in the office grinding and you know putting in the work and just trying to figure everything out and gaining knowledge so yeah that's wild i mean perspective is really everything i mean that and that's what i'm kind of trying to allude to here is that you guys everyone sees dj and Lindsay team now right it's it's the same thing it's like everybody always sees the guy in the spotlight like who was kevin hart 20 years ago right. like he was probably still doing it playing clubs doing whatever but everybody knows kevin hart now right right so it's like everyone just sees what's happening now everybody's quick to lunge attack even jump on right sure. we're like always trying to get people opportunity but it's just a matter of like nine years before the dj and Lindsay team even started were you in the industry and then from there I mean, when did it really start to, like, click as far as scalability, would you say? I mean, so let's take 2015. I had just graduated from Flagler. We could have aligned right Dang there. It. We missed each I other. I was ready. Missed each other by that much. But, w I mean, when did you really start to see kind of, like, that scalability of, like, okay, here's the process that it's, – um, it's not even ironclad. It's just right. gold. It's just straight gold. It's like, this is, this is gold. How can we deploy this, and how do we get people to, to understand it, right? Well, it's fun, you know, Lindsay is, everyone's like, oh, what's the secret weapon? Like, Lindsay is the best operator, in my opinion, and I'm not being biased. I th I know that so she... So, Lindsay's a secret weapon. How'd you get your name on the building? You know, you know, <laughs> just, you know, swagger, I guess. Yeah. Gift of the gab. But, um, no, it's, you know, we bring that yin and yang, but, you know, so if it was up to me, I was like, hey, let's go, let's build this, let's, let's, but she built the building blocks and the foundations of the correct way uh, the processes how in contract w what happens after it gets executed what you know this this and this and but in 2015 when we started we brought on Brittany our first agent and you know we slowly hired you know another buyer's agent another buyer's agent and everything was clicking it was really good with four four agents and I'm like hey this is great we have and then Hurricane Matthew floods out St. Augustine, Jack, you know, and parts of Riverside and all that. We all remember that. So I take the lead spend and I move it to Jacksonville. And I'm like, hey, you know, kind of like COVID last year. I'm like, hey, you know, we're either going to row this boat right. and see what happens in St. Augustine. But in the meantime, we can't just wait for things to bounce back. We need to, you know, continue to sell real estate and just we'll see what happens. At the time, it was, it was crazy. So I move, you know, lead spend up up to Jacksonville, and we're all working out of Regis, and uh, waha, it worked. Right. So then I'm like, okay, we can do this here, we can do this there, and it kind of just started just forming from. Right. I knew, hey, if we have these systems and processes in place with the right people, like let me like let me make sure everyone understands with the right people. Right. We then said, hey, let's add this person and this person and this person. And then last year, you know, 2018, we doubled. 2019, we doubled. COVID happened. And then it was like we, we were all we were set up for it. And then, you know, all of this craziness of the world shut down. But then we were like, OK, this is. Yeah. I mean, I remember we had a conversation. I had just started literally like pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was like case was like maybe there's seven thousand cases like worldwide or something mm -hmm. stupid 
and we had a conversation of like hey looks like the world's gonna shut down blah 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 this and that let's hang out okay i don't you know i don't want to get rid of you now but we got to figure this out then all of a sudden you're like hey i need you to do this 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 and this because our market just turned on its end and just was like yeah once people could work from home and do whatever you're like it was just like all hands on deck and we could not keep up i mean we're still like trying to work the boat's floating and it's moving in the right direction but it's like it's just crazy i've never seen anything like this before yeah and i i took that approach that we had to take in matthew and then in Irma again i mean it happened again but i was like look we can sit around we can feel sorry for ourselves and we can just wait for everything to come back to normal and and who knows and you know we took that approach in matthew where we continued to work we did it in Irma, we continued to work and last year we took you know once it kind of settled down a little Mm -hmm. bit and we saw what florida was doing you know versus other states we just said hey we're going to do this and and uh kind of bet the house on it right like let's go yeah well that's funny because it's even it was out of necessity that you moved the model so to speak from a small town i mean st augustine is like very niche when it comes to like uniqueness it's it's the oldest city in america but it's very unique in the sense that it doesn't really follow traditional guide. This whole area, it's funny because we talk about news stations and broadcasting is like a local news affiliate is not, excuse me, not affiliate. The local news station is like the number one leader in viewership here, mm-hmm. which is like unlike any other city. So we're already crazy weird. But to then move it, pick it up and move it to Jacksonville out of necessity. Right. And then you're like, well, well that worked. Yeah. What are we supposed to do with this knowledge? And it's like, well, what if we could just find the right people and replicate it right and so it's it's just bonkers to me that it's bonkers but it's also not because we live in the day and age of the keyboard warriors who can see anything from afar and be like i know what's wrong with that you know like instead of just like getting in it and be like well there's actually nothing wrong with this we joke about it all the time it's like what are the pain points what are the flaws and we like sit here and we try and like vet our own process and we're like well what if well, no, that's not it because that's kind of easy. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> we're just sitting here scratching our heads. Yeah. Like. It's, I mean, it, from where we are, where we were last year to today, and to see this, to walk into this building, I still like, I mean, I say this all the time. I like, it's surreal to me to watch all, you know, to see all the great employees that we have, to see all the great employees we're still bringing on, um, how many raises we've given to through COVID. Yeah. I, you talk about going back to helping people like that, not only everyone sees so like all, how many transactions and all of these things but you go back to small businesses that we're aligned with let's not let's talk about our agents which are small businesses mm-hmm. let's talk about the families that we're helping with inside this building yeah. let's talk about the um the you know exterior people that we use and you know yeah. printing and you know different things with the bill well, even just our other partnerships like you know people we align ourselves like people like Lunds Pro, people like cross country mortgage like yeah. you know like all those those are all other businesses that are also trying to do the same thing we're doing. It's that so why you align yourself with those people. Right? And that, you know, I, I watched my friend, you know, one of my best friends, Wes, he's aligned with them now yeah. and to see that and his family and hanging out with them this weekend. It's just, it's, it's the, the spider effect of what's going on around us because yeah. of, of the great, you know, opportunities that everyone like you guys and yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. It's just, and it's, it's surreal. We just, yeah. We, I mean, we just hired another, we just hired a new employee. We're obviously we're hiring another one too, because you're like, we cannot stop. And it's, I heard you say this. I don't even know. Now, anytime you have a chance to dig a bigger moat and help more people get on that raft, you do, because yeah. when are you going to have that opportunity again? You might've said, man, I could have done it, should have done right. it. But if you, You'll always do that. Yeah. It's like, take the risk. If it works, it works. If it's not, you learn from it. And those are things that I pick up from you guys every single day. I mean, we talk about you coaching me. And it's just, it's not even, you don't have to directly coach anybody. It's just a matter of like being around those people, which is what we talk about here. It's mm-hmm. like, that's why you come into the office. It's being around those people Yeah. that you're like, wow, I didn't realize so-and-so did it like that. That's interesting. Or, oh, wow, I didn't realize. So, you know, like yeah. you're just picking up these things that normally, like if you were just in a coffee shop alone and like, I don't know, there's like yeah. road workers coming in. And, like, what are you picking up? What are you picking so- up? Yeah. yeah. Well, Anna was like today. It was funny. When uh, sitting in there, she goes, hey, are we still hiring some transaction coordinators? I'm like always. Constantly. <laughs> I mean, I, I want the best. Yeah. So if there's, you know, somebody out there that wants to, tran- you know, be a transaction coordinator, I want them. There's somebody on the video side. We want to hire them. Right. There's somebody on the social media side. It's like this never ending, you know, path to try to get better and, and elevate. Yeah. 
I don't, you know, I, I never want to say I'm the best, you know, CEO. I'm definitely not the best CEO in the room. I want to, I want to put myself around other CEOs that are doing greater and bigger things. So then it helps me think bigger. I want you to have better, you know, social media people mm -hmm. that think, make you think different. And then just through Absolutely. that, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, I said, and again, I learned it from you. I said, if I'm the smartest person in the room, we have a big problem because mm -hmm. then I'm only going to go as far as we can take us. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you constantly putting yourself in a room with people who are smarter than you. So, I mean, yeah, we're, you were just in Nashville. Why would you other than because Nashville's sweet? Nashville's why? City. <laughs> yeah. Highly why? Recommended. Why would you go to Nashville other than to put yourself in a room with people who are more intelligent than you? Yeah, it's and it's cool. You just pick up different perspectives and different ways and different you know everyone has a different vision right and to pick up on that and then add it to this like layer i just call it i call it layers and we're just putting these layers on top of this team and i'm just yeah i right? get goosebumps to think like how great like it's where it's going right like we see it right now and i think next year this time i think we're gonna see something that nobody's ever seen in in a real estate brokerage brand anything you know, across right. the board ever in the United States. Yeah. I mean, I can see that we have already a large name in the market has stopped a service that they were providing. And no, I mean, yes, it's needed. There are people with situations that are like, Hey, this is a great program for you. Like, you know, you are, you're in a tough spot. Like, I think this is the route for you, but we've seen now that that has stopped. Our side is like even crazier. Yeah. And what makes me nervous is that we don't have enough photographers in Jacksonville to be able to service all these, <laughs> <laughs> all these listings. <laughs> it's that's I mean, it, it's crazy because, I mean, we already converted one of our people into a photographer out of necessity. Again, dude absolutely kills it. Our head photographer is lights out. I mean, forget about She's it. So She's great. untouchable. Yeah, that's great. And now it's like oh, I got to find more people that yeah. fit that mold and train them and do all that stuff because it's, it's, I mean, it's happening. I mean, yeah. we already just, I, we were talking about it yesterday, 17 shoots lined up between now and Wednesday of next week. And we have seven listings going live Thursday. Yeah. That's insane. It's Let's literally insane. Think about that. Think about that 17, you know, properties that are you know exclusive clients get to see that that you know before they hit the market right that's more you know people that like yourselves that you get to prep for to do this insane amount of marketing it's on. and it's making us better for the the homes that come along in a month in mm -hmm. two months in three months and that didn't even click to me it, when i was talking to lewis and he was i was like yeah that's crazy you know money in your pocket he's like yeah but how about the experience that i get from being able to do 14 deals in five weeks yeah. versus like five deals over 12 months. Right. Right. He's like, I get the experience of like all those unique situations learning from them. Like, wow, that was an absolute dumpster fire or wow, that went insanely smooth. Why? Yeah. And then looking at that, he's like, I got the experience. I got literally a year and a month in yeah. like less than well, a not month. only that, then Lewis now, you know, once he's here a year, he gets to get 90% on their sisters, their brothers, their cousins, and that big referral source. Now yeah. his network is just spiral. It's just like it's insane. going insane at this, you know, I, I think one of the most insane competitive splits that m many people offer. Right. Sh you know, not to get into that realm of things, right. but it's just crazy how many, how much big their sphere now grows because right. of the, the sources of things coming in and it's just it's right just crazy it would literally it, it's almost if you said hey amara med spa i think this is a great idea let's open an amara med spa and then after a year you're like you guys did awesome we're gonna cash out we're gonna take 10 percent 90s going to the house and you guys just keep doing remember that business that we just paid to help you build yeah it's yours we're gonna head out we're gonna go do we're gonna do do it with you know however many other people yeah. like that's just bananas yeah like what what good businessmen would do that, <laughs> DJ? <laughs> so I, I, I mean, it, on that. yeah, it, it's crazy. I mean, we talk about it all the time, and just to, you know, it's funny. Again, you come back from Nashville, you put yourself in that position to where how can I come back from Nashville and give my team and bleed my team with what I just learned 
and knowing that the knowledge is obviously proven because it was from people from all over the country, right. not just who was just like, yeah, me and three people from who I already talked to every single day, we just went to Nashville and talked about the same shit we talked about, but now we're just in Nashville. Sure. Right. So it's like you're literally mingling amongst people. You're like, hey, did this work for you? Did this work for you? This work for you? And we talk about it constantly. Billboard, digital media, Google, all these things, what worked and what didn't. Um, trending sounds on Instagram, like what's grabbing things. We're now talking about those things. We're like, okay, this was on our radar. This right. wasn't. That's weird. And it's 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 this ever moving machine of like, how can we get better? And we can't be stopped because you've found people who are obsessed with it. Yeah, I mean, it's like I said, I started at people. It starts with great people, great leaders, great everything. And you know, people like you, Todd. Todd, yeah. you're the you're 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 the man. So well, I just want to say thank people. you on that. For yeah. Sure, well, for good people find good people so it's it's very fortunate that you and Lindsay are good people and you found other good people so now we you're appreciate leading it. In a gr- like you're it's just yeah. so crazy each department i go to it's like you, everyone here is amazing everyone's here and it's just like yeah wow well so, it's you guys and we're thankful for the there's, opportunity there's more there's too. always more there's, there's more. always more so uh we're gonna be back on with dj uh you, who knows every week basically so let's do this all right thanks a lot man thanks later see ya